Hi guys, this is Serge from thesis2.com and in this video we continue to the configuration of our online store uh, powered by Thesis and WooCommerce. So today I'm going to show you how to uh, add a sharing buttons to your products. Uh, when you go to a single product page, you will see that on the description uh, there is uh, some empty space uh, which would actually be needed to add uh, your sharing buttons. There are some people saying that they do not use uh, social media and they do not need sharing buttons. My answer is quite easy. Uh, you guys might be not using uh, sharing buttons, but your visitors will do. Uh, so it would be nice if you added those buttons so that they can easily share your content and promote your website and products. Uh, in order to install the sharing buttons here, uh, what we're going to use is a Jetpack plugin. And uh, I know that there are some people saying that Jetpack is a crap and it enables a lot of plugins that you don't need. Uh, well, uh, when you install Jetpack, uh, there is a configuration panel and you may disable the add-ons that you do not need. So we're going to use only the things that we really need for this website. So, in order to install the Jetpack, you go to your dashboard uh, under uh, Plugins, Add New. You type Jetpack here. Uh, and you search for Plugins. You will see the Jetpack by WordPress.com uh, by Automatic. And you install this plugin here. Once the plugin is installed, you need to activate this. And once the plugin is active, you need to connect uh, the Jetpack to WordPress.com account. If you don't have an account there, you need to create one. Or if you have already an account on WordPress.com, uh, you just need to log in here. I'm using uh, my username on WordPress.com and my password. I missed my password. Uh, let me check if this is this one. Yeah, looks like this one is good. So, uh, once the Jetpack is uh, connected to your WordPress account, you will see this uh, Jetpack panel, which is accessible on the uh, dashboard Jetpack. And you see that you have some models already enabled, the others are disabled. Uh, so uh, let me show you how to enable a model uh, or uh, uh, to enable one uh, model you just click activate button here and to disable uh, a model you just click uh, learn more and you will see the deactivate button appears here. So what you do, you just disable the things that you do not need. This is quite easy. For example, if you do not need the uh, notification, you just deactivate this. Uh, then publicize, which could be a quite a cool feature for your website. Subscriptions as well, this is a cool feature. Uh, post by email, uh, I'm not using this one, so I will deactivate this. Then uh, sharing. Uh, this is the model we are interested in. So uh, you have the configuration button here. The rest we're gonna just disable. Expanding in grammar. I'm not using co uh, Jetpack Contact Form, so I'm using Contact Form 7 plugin. Uh, then uh, the short links, I don't need them anymore. 
naively. Uh, then the shortcode embeds uh, this is quite cool as feature. Uh, beautiful mask. I'm not a mathematician. Then uh, extra side by widgets, which could be cool. And uh, JSON API, we could leave, leave this. Distribution is quite cool. Mobile push nof notifications, we don't need that. The choice of the add-ons uh, uh, depends on uh, how you use your website and what features do you need there. But just make sure that you have the uh, sharing buttons enabled in order to follow this tutorial. So, uh, I have disabled everything I don't need. I just uh, kept the sharing here. So, let's go and configure that. You may connect your uh, accounts here for a uh, publicized model and for sharing buttons. You see the list of available sharing buttons here and then you have some options for them. So uh, you need to enable this at least on the front page, on uh, posts, then on media probably and on products. Just make sure it is enabled on products. Uh, then. Uh, when you are quite accustomed with uh, CSS and JavaScript and you are using your own codes, you may disable uh, the default codes here. Uh, then, to uh, the button style. Actually, on the thesis, uh, the only button style that works, uh, this is the official buttons. And here you may configure the uh, text prepended to share buttons. Uh, this is a call to action, like uh, like this like this uh, spread a word share this page so I just modified the text I would like to see and then we're gonna uh, add the sharing buttons here so the uh, basic providers as for example uh, stumble upon you just drag them here then you add uh, Pinterest mm. and Google Plus Twitter and Facebook So here you go. You just save your options at the end and when you go to your single product page you will see the sharing buttons appearing here. Uh, you may modify the text if you wish. For example, uh, just make it share this. Oh, here you go. Just a small check uh, within the uh, like button for Facebook, or for example with the, uh, Google. Here you go. You may switch to thumbnails if you have any. And you may share this. So, uh, we have configured the sharing buttons. The next step uh, would be to configure the uh, uh, schema.org profile for your product pages. Because right now, when you open the uh, source of the page you will see that uh, the open graph protocol here uh, is not even uh, type uh, the open graph type for this uh, 
page is actually article which is false because you are using product in order to do that what you need to do is uh, to add an extra uh, plugin which is uh, WPSEO uh, by Yoast which will uh, handle the uh, open graph tags and which uh, will enable the product uh, schema here so uh, see you in the next video for that configuration cheers